Hi, hello, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to my first update on my Panda Palette project. <laughs> so last month I started this project and I'm really happy I did it because I had so much fun with this palette and I didn't really think, well I didn't even know how I would do in a project like this and I was quite afraid that I would get tired well, it's only the first month, but sometimes I get tired like in a week. But I'm happy that I was able to create a lot of looks and come up with different ideas with this palette. Because I was kind of afraid that I would create the same looks with this palette, which is kind of like not the truth because you have several colors in here. You can do more orange looks, more pink looks, more brown in looks. You can do a lot of looks. I know you can't really see a lot of uses on the shades. I can, but of course I was the one doing this and I can see quite a bit of difference. I don't know how, but I think this one is the one that is showing a bit more usage. The Cypress Umber, which is the darkest color of the palette. I don't know how that is possible. And Antique Bronze might be the one that doesn't show a lot of usage because it's I think it's one of my least favorite shades of the palette. I don't know if it is because it is a satin. It's a matte shade with shimmer, so I don't know if it is because of that. But yeah, I have a full year to play with this palette and I might end up really liking this shade. Who knows? My goal for this first update was to at least use each shade once and I did it. I actually used at least two times each shade, which is super good, but let me tell you how much I actually used each shade. So Tempera, am I saying this right? I don't even know. Tempera I used three times, Golden Ochre I used two times, Vermeer I used four times, One Fresco I used four times, Antique Bronze I used two times, Love Letter I used two times, Cypress Amber I used six times, Raw Sienna I used two times, Burnt Orange I used two times, Primavera I used four times, Red Ochre I used three times, Venetian Red I used two times, Warm Taupe I used three times, and finally Realgar I used three times. So in total I used all of the shades 42 times, which I think was pretty good. The beginning of the month I had this palette to play with it and only this one, but then I started to have my Pandos eyeshadows, eyeshadows and the uh, Happy Blue Your eyeshadows as well. So it kind of took me a bit of chances to play with this palette, but I wanted to do those projects so it wasn't like I didn't want it. So yeah, I just had to and I just have to figure out which one I want to use each time. And if I want to mix shades, I'll do it, especially the shade Cypress Amber. That shade, I used it with this palette and without this palette. I know in the intro I said I didn't really like mixing this palette with other palettes, but I figured that with some shades, for example the Cypress Amber that is just a dark brown, I didn't really mind it and it went really well with some of the shades in my on my Pandas eyeshadows, so that was a plus. But before I had those Pandas eyeshadow shades, I actually had a palette that I was using with the Modern Renaissance and it was the BH Shenix So palette. I was only using it because of these shimmers because the Modern Renaissance only has two actual shimmers and they are quite light. I mainly use them on my inner corner because I feel like on my lid they are too light so I would pair it with these ones that are a bit darker and I also chose this palette to play with before I had my Pandas eyeshadows because yeah it's not my favorite palette but I still want to use it and hit pan eventually in all of the shades so yeah sometimes I just take this palette to get a bit more usage because it's not my favorite and I don't use it a lot well, because of these things, I actually use it quite a bit, but not counting with these instances, I really don't use it a lot. But yeah, I am kind of learning to love this palette. Not that I hated it, but it was a palette that 
I really loved looking at, but I didn't really know how to create looks with it sometimes, which is so dumb because I think it's such an easy palette to create looks with and I just didn't know how to create looks with it. It was super dumb. But now I feel like I'm much more able to create different looks and I'm really having a lot of fun with it and I'm happy I chose this palette for this project. In terms of looks that I created, I try to take photos of most of the looks I created but sometimes you know you just can't take a good picture to save your life. But I try to take several pictures and I'll just show you, I don't know, wear but I'll just show you because I don't have a specific look to comment on they were super neutral looks and I don't know how but sometimes I feel like it's much easier for me to create colorful looks than these kinds of neutral looks I feel like because they need a lot of blending well not a lot of blending but they need to look good and neutral looks are so like neutral and close to the color of your face that Sometimes if you don't really do them right, you can look like you're just not great, you know? So I feel like sometimes creating colorful looks is much more easier, so I feel like this is also a big challenge for me to create neutral looks. Because I wanted to be better at those, and I feel like I'm kind of getting better, so yeah, you, you tell me. But I feel like the only thing that I did the most was pairing this palette with either black eyeliner or brown eyeliner and I love eyeliner but I don't know why I just had the thing that most of the times I wanted to do eyeliner I wouldn't do any eyeshadow I would just do the eyeliner and I could add a bit of inner corner eyeliner or some other things but I was so afraid that I would mess up the eyeliner that I wouldn't do any eyeshadow. I would just do the eyeliner and I was done. But this update I changed that. I started to use eyeliner in my looks and I feel like I am way better now. Sometimes I'm still afraid that I might mess up the eyeliner that I don't do any eyeshadow but I feel like in some looks it actually looks way better with eyeliner sometimes. I don't know why if it's just me not being used to these neutral looks or what, but I really really enjoyed playing with eyeliners in my looks. And now for my next update, I was trying to think about what goal would I do for the next update and I feel like using every shadow at least once is good but I feel like that is a bit too easy and I was able to reach that real quickly so I feel like I will probably raise that to two times each eyeshadow I will try to use every eyeshadow at least two times and that I feel like I could do it because I did that this uh, past month but now I'm fully working on this palette on my five eyeshadows from the Pen Nose Eyeshadows project and much more eyeshadows in the Apple Blue Year project so I really want to use them at least two times if I can and much more if I can but with all of those eyeshadows I don't know but I'll think I'll be able to do that I don't know if next month we'll be able to see a bit more of difference in these eyeshadows I would like it but at the same time I'm not really using these eyeshadows just to hit pen I'm having fun with them and actually touching really lightly with the brush because I know these are super soft and I don't want them to get used up like that so I actually put the brush really lightly in, the, <laughs> in these eyeshadows it's crazy how much lightly I put the brush but I really don't want to just use these eyeshadows like that just to use them up I really want to use them just to play with them so yeah you get what I'm saying so this was the update I'm really happy that I was able to meet my goal I know it was such a small goal like use every shade once but at the same time, I'm really happy about it and I'm super excited to play with this palette one more month. I'm not tired of it yet. I don't know if I'll be tired of it, like in the middle of the year. That will probably happen, I don't really know, but for now I'm having fun with it and I'm actually really enjoying playing with it. So I'll just get my usage right now when I'm actually liking the palette. So when I'm a bit tired, I don't have to 
do as much look so I can rest a bit, you know? <laughs> but I hope you liked the video, I hope you have an amazing time and I'll see you next time. Bye!